Salvage yard just called and said that the parts are ready for pickup. So, also, perfect time for it to start snowing. Yay. Well, that'll work. Let's see if I can get this thing put in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Rebuilds. I'm still working on the Ford Edge here. Let me just show you some progress. Got the whole front end disassembled now. Bumpers off. This is the new AC condenser and radiator and fan assembly. That's the old stuff. I had to swap over the wiring harness on the back of that because they changed the pigtails. This is from a 2019 uh, Lincoln Nautilus and I'm putting it on this 2018 and they changed over quite a few things from 18 to 19 including this wiring harness apparently. So we got that taken care of. I am working on the um, well, the intercooler, because, kind of hard to see here, turn on the light, Bing. so this right here is cracked, and I plastic welded this back together, so nice and, so I had one, two, three, four of these uh, little wire pieces here. And now I got to do the other side. And then once I get that plastic welded back together, then I can put this intercooler back onto the new system and then drop it in place in the car here. Uh, I did end up losing a little bit of uh, antifreeze uh, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, and then the AC condenser slash transmission cooler is still partly hooked up here because the transmission lines are over there and I don't want to disconnect the transmission lines uh, until I have everything in place because it will require me to um, disconnect transmission lines and spill some of the transmission fluid and I have to swap over the lines from this one onto that one because they're again not the same. So give me a minute and uh, with the powers of the YouTube editing, I will have most of this together, hopefully. So I got all my uh, my wires welded into here and then cut off with the Dremel. Uh, the side cutters that these kits come with are junk and they're too soft for these. Just use a Dremel. So now I'm going to use my uh, kind of adapter here. And uh, it's going to take a few seconds to get a little bit hot. And I'm just going to smooth all of this out. And uh, hopefully it'll work okay. This side's done. I'm going to let this cool for a second. And then do the back side and then the top. So that way it's all this uh, crack all the way around. It's going to melted together. Ta-da! It's magic. So this is all installed. Everything's hooked up down there. You can't really see. Also turn the light on. So that's all up there. This is my plastic weld job, which you kind of see the, the crack a little bit now since it's flexed a little bit, but much, much stronger. It's actually connected. And on this side, my plastic weld job is back behind there. Also, much better. So, I need to uh, get the upper radiator support mounted, and then the active shutter grill things put on, and then plastic weld a thousand things onto the front bumper cover. Well, it was a good day working on the edge. I basically just ran out of stuff to install. I did as much as I could, um, and I think it's about four in the morning right now, so that's um, that's good too. Anyways, but I got the uh, the front end back together, the uh, radiator AC condenser, uh, fan, the uh, intercooler all welded up, and the uh, wiring harness over here needed to be redone, otherwise the uh, upper radiator sports are on, and I'm just going to basically wait for more parts. Uh, I need to get the headlights in the mail and uh, while I'm waiting for the headlights I can uh, plastic weld the front bumper cover back together and at least get that put on. Um, 
and hopefully I won't need anything else, but I probably will. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.